Oh, no. Oh, what the hell? That was a wide open cage. Churchy, so we're uh, we're gonna play uh, Blades of Steel today. You familiar with this game? Uh, I think I played it once or twice, but not in a long time. This was my favorite game when I was a kid. I love this game. Yeah, so you're gonna kick my ass. Well, it's been it's been 25 odd years since I've probably played this, but fair. fair. Want we see? Okay. Yeah, go. So who are you? You're Edmonton. I'm Edmonton. Okay, and I'm Toronto. I got Gretzky. Okay. Cause he, yeah, he was still on. It was 88. 88. I was working at the gas bar when he got traded. Holy moly, this is so slow. Oh, look at that. Where's the clapper? How do you shoot? There it is. Uh, somebody get it. Oh, this <laughs> Okay, the game plays is, that, is a little bit slow. It's a good puck handler. Oh! Oh! That's a penalty. I can't get rid of the puck. Okay, so A is pass and B is shoot. Okay. Wait, take it back. Oh, yeah! My goalie was way... I think you can be the goalie. Yeah. You just move it back and forth. You have two yeah. moves. He's pulling around your Left Hextall. and right. That's too many too many to remember, left and right. <laughs> so uh, what's happening to the cannery? Uh, we're getting ready for summer, man. It's gonna be, uh, it's already getting hot in Penticton. We, uh, it was my birthday on the first, and it was the first time in, well, I can never remember me wearing a tank top for my birthday. Oh, I scored. <laughs> so <laughs> bad. Yes. Uh, end to end, bro. What? Shoot it in the net. So you, uh, you used to be here at Sawdust, huh? Yep. And then you moved on, then you shuffled off. Yeah, my wife uh, was a learning under uh, Muskoka Midwife with Barb. And then she got a job in Victoria and figured out that she didn't like Victoria. Can you do one timers? I don't think so. And then got a job in Penticton. And she came home for a visit, and I realized that I was lonely. <laughs> and uh, drove my bus out to, to Penticton. Oh. That's the period. That was more about the period than you leaving on your bus. Yeah, fair enough. That's fine. I, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't that emotionally attached. <laughs> this is the first time we've had uh, an ex-employee come back and do a collab with us, so that's pretty fantastic. He worked for us a couple years ago. Church and I, and I met playing hockey at uh, the Lovable Losers in Bracebridge. It's like coming home. Worked in auto for over 20 years and to work at Sawdust and do like a life change, like a 180 and, and, and everybody being so awesome and, and uh, an awesome environment and to be here for such a short time, basically two years, and then go to, to Penticton, and, uh, you know, and I've been there almost two years now, so it's like, just a homecoming, happy, happy smiles, and just love, man. Just lots of love. <laughs> yeah. When the CBAs came to Toronto, we were able to convince them to come down and do a collab here with us. Uh, so we get the rest of the boys from Cannery and Churchy to come back, and uh, we got this cool collab cooking. <laughs> well, was, you know, I'm, I'm really happy you're able to come back and do this. this yeah, is totally. Awesome. Uh, like, I was, I was, I feel kind of bad. You know, some of the boys at uh, the brewery have more seniority to me and I'm just happy that you're pumping my tires to get me to come back for a visit. So they're like, Scott, Scott Naylor, our head brewer. He's like, really church? I've been here eight years <laughs> and you get to go to Toronto. I've always wanted to be in Toronto. I'm like, dude, I will get you a snow globe, CN Tower snow globe. So that's your one mission is to get a CN Tower snow globe for Scott? Uh, it's one of them for sure. Oh, oh yeah! God. Other end of the ice. Tied her up, bud. This is a real barn burner. Oh, no. Oh, what the hell? That was a wide open cage. Holy. Oh! Is that in? No. Oh, here we go. That's going in, bro. Oh, hits the pole from the other end of the ice. Hit easy on the Eastern Europeans. That's in. <laughs> oh my god. That, was a clapper. that must have been a clapper from Gretzky. Clapper from the blue line. So why are you up here? What are we doing? What are we, what are we brewing We're doing today? Super Saison. That's in. Super Saison 
what are we gonna name it? 14 Stitches? <laughs> I guess it's called 14 Stitches now. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know if we ever got as far Does as the name. Does anybody want the background story on that? I don't know. Even though it's going to be a high ABV, it's going to be like a still a drinkable, approachable beer because it will be so dry. First word in my mind is funky. Just like this warm, embracing, fuzzy, good feel in the back of your throat that I just love it. Nice and fruity, uh, effervescent, and uh, perfect for like summer back deck patio, end of the night. It's gonna be smooth, it's not gonna feel like you're drinking that eight and a half percent beer. Uh, maybe after a couple it might, but for the first one, at least it won't. We're gonna to try to present it in a nice uh, big bottle, so it's a sharing bottle, something you can have a couple people share it. And and it's something that's gonna be yeah refreshing, it's gonna be something that goes well with relaxing and, and uh, and enjoying the, the heat as compared to, you know, getting out of the winter doldrums and the, 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 the overcast. It just, this is what this beer is. It's, this beer is the opposite of overcast. That's it, bud. Game over. <sighs> I'll allow it. That was only an exhibition. That's why I didn't, oh, because he wasn't even in the lineup. It was an exhibition. Oh, that's right. He took the game off. All right, yeah, well, thanks again, buddy. This was great. I mean, well, the beer is going to be awesome. We'll enjoy the rest of the boys, and a uh, couple weeks we'll try it, and then uh, we'll see you down at the CBA. Totally. Thank right, you. Buddy. Thanks for having Cheers. me. Sweet hospitality. Oh, oh. Hunter. <laughs>